Nice to be with you again. Welcome to my YouTube channel Bachelor and Master English. Today we are going to talk about a nature poem by William Cooper. The title is The Popular Field. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel and if you think uh, this video is worth watching, please share it as soon as possible. Uh, I am sure you will accompany me till the end of my discussion. And let's go with the poem. Here is the text, uh, the summary of the poem in English will be narrated, then there will be discussion in Nepali. Okay. Uh, the popular trees are cut down and there are no shades. The whispering song of the wind through them is no more heard in the the wind does not play melodious song, so the poet feels very sad. The said and the song of the wind have missed from the sight, and the poet doesn't get the image of Ooze River in them. The blackbird has played to find the shelter in the next hazel trees. Twelve years back, the poet used to enjoy the beautiful scene of the popular and the melodious songs of the blackboard. But now, there is no melodious music of birds and the wind as it used to be. Now, the poet sees his years are also fleeting. He will die one day and lie down like the pale poplar trees on the banks of Uz River. The turf will grow on his breast and tombstone on his head. The sight of fallen trees are quite moving to the poet. He believes someone will plant trees on his tomb, but he will not find them growing. He is very sad. He believes man's pleasure are failing with the falling of trees. Life may be a dream, but pleasures and enjoyments are much shorter than life. Thus, the poet gives the idea of the cut down poplars with the end of human life and pleasures. Really, human beings are running after the pleasures, but they are cutting down the pleasures themselves by cutting down the trees. Okay, uh, that's the summary of the text in English. Now, uh, let me discuss the summary and other aspects of the poem in Nepali. Lahari people go bangaicha. Lahari people go bangaicha. Suchandata badi dara ko suruat hunu manda agari. Tio dara, tio khal ko kavita aru ko jai purban ko rup ma jai. लेखी को ये वाला चर्चित प्रकृति बादी को भी था वो अब ये कभी लाई विलियम वॉटसन सेमल टेलर कलरीज ये अन्य कभी और लेते हैं ये तो प्रकृति बादी कविता लेक्शन रहा अब त्यो कविता संस्कृति आपने कविता तीसरी जान सब नहीं तो थी ना वाला शायद तो उनले त्यो खाल को कविता लेखी पौची वॉटसन ले ते खाल को कविता प्रेम प्रकृति प्रेम लाई नहीं जलकारा प्रकृति नहीं और बिशेष वस्तु बना रहा गांव ले जीवन लाई नहीं वड़ा महत्व को विशेष वस्तु बनाया रहा कविता लिखे अब यो खाल को चाहिए वड़ा इस तो खाल को बंगाई जाता है जहाँ पॉपुलर का अथवा लॉरी पीपल का रुखर रुपिये का सं तो जून को चाहिए वड़ा छाया त्यै छोमा बॉय रहे को ऊज रिवर में अथवा ऊज नदी में जाइए देखें जा अब त्यै इस तो चरा आ रहे हैं इस तो मिठो मिठो गीत गाऊं सुन त्यैं हवा बहुत आखिर तो पात पात ले साउथी कर आखिर त्यैं नए खाल को संगीत सुनना पाएं जा त्यैं बेगले मनोमोहक दृश्य रा मनोमो रा जीवन को बेगले खाल को अनुभूति होने रा आनंद त्यैं मिल जा बार वर्ष अगी कभी ले त्यो देखे तर बार वर्ष पची जाना ख जून बुटा मुनि बसेर उन्हें आनंद लिए थे ती बुटा आरु जाइं डॉली सगेरा ऑयले जाइं तीनी बुटा को जाइं ठुटा में उन्हें बसेरा वड़ा चार को गाम 
छिपेर बस्नु परेछ खोलाको जुन एउटा उज नदीको अथवा उज खोलाको जुन कुल कुल पानीमा त्यो रुखका छायाहरु देखिन्थे ती देखिन छोडे अब बडा दुख कुरो अनि कवि अब पनि आफ्नो जसरी रुखहरु काटी अब उनले पनि आफ्नो यी भगवा दिनहरु एउटा सक्रिय दिनहरु चाहिँ सकिन्दै गएको र आफु आफ्नो पनि मृत्यु चाडै नै आइरहेको अब मृत्युको संकेत पनि उनले चाहिँ गर्छन् अब उमेरको चरण सँगै मृत्यु आउँछ भन्ने कुरा उनलाई थाहा छ त्यसपछि उनले के गर्छन् त भन्दाखेरि अब म पनि मर्छु म मरेपछि मेरो शरीरमा यहाँ घाँस उम्रन्छ अनि मेरो जुन एउटा समाधि बनाइन्छ त्यहाँ एउटा ढुङ्गो राखिन्छ त्यहाँ चाहिँ एउटा एउटा रुख पनि रोपिएला तर ती रुखहरु मेरो म जस्तै अरु अरु पनि मरेर रुख रोपिन्दाखेरि त्यो रुख रोपिए ठाउँमा हुर्केका ती उपवनहरु मैले देख्न पाउदिन त्यस भएर अब के गर्ने मान्छेको खुशीको र सुखीको क्षण जुन मान्छेले खोजिरहे हुन्छ त्यो अझ धेरै क्षणिक छ जीवन जति छोटो छ त्यो खुशीको क्षणहरु झन् छोटो छ भन्ने भावना यो कवितामा चाहिँ व्यक्त गरेका छन् त्यो भएर मान्छे नै प्रकृतिको संरक्षक हुन पर्छ मान्छेले नै प्रकृतिको चाहिँ एउटा संरक्षण गर्न पर्छ यहाँका चाहिँ जीव जन्तु बन्ने बन्ने जन्तु बोट बिरुवा देखिन त लिएर यहाँ जो जो बसेका छ सबैको चाहिँ यो पृथ्वी हो यो सबैले चाहिँ यो पृथ्वीको चाहिँ उपभोग गर्न पाउनु पर्छ पछिल्लो पुस्ताले पनि यो एउटा प्रकृतिको सम्पत्तिहरु उपयोग गर्न पाउनु पर्छ अहिलेकाले मात्र त्यसलाई प्रयोग गर्ने होइन भनेर चाहिँ उनको भावना व्यक्त गरेका छन् यसरी भन्छन् उनले लहरे पिपलका रुख ढाली अब छारी रहेन पंक्तिबद्ध रुखबाट निस्कने ठण्डा साउती हावा पनि बिलाए न त बतास अब पातमा ठोकिएर गीत सुसेल्ने छन् उज नदीको ढाडमा ती रुखको छाया देखिने कुरा पनि अब हरायो बाह्र वर्ष अघि म यो नदीको तटमा मन परेको बगैचामा पहिलो पटक आएको थिएँ आज देख्छु ती सबै ढलिराखेका छन् त्यही ढलेको एउटा रुखमाथि म अहिले बसिरहेको छु यही रुखले एक दिन मलाई छारी दिएको थियो कालीचरीले अब अर्कै आश्रय लियो यही कटुसको रुखले उसलाई गर्मीबाट उजेल दिन्थ्यो अब चरीको त्यो मधुर गीत र लुकिछिपी दृश्य पनि हेर्न पाइएन मेरो शीघ्र बितिरहेका दिनहरू पनि चाँड चाँडै बित्दै छन् म पनि छिट्टै एक दिन रुख जस्तै मुडो भएर भुइँमा ढल्नेछु अनि त्यही मेरो छातीमाथि घाँस उम्रने छ र टाउकोमाथि एउटा चिहान ढुङ्गा रहने छ त्यसै बेला सोही ढुङ्गामाथि मेरो सम्झनमा एउटा बिरुवाले ठाउँ लिने छ यो दृश्यले मेरो मन तानेको छ अब म देख्छु मानिसको सुखानुभूति साह्रै नै छोटो रहे रहेछ हुन त उसको जीवन सपनाले भरिएको छ तथापि उसका खुशी र सुखी क्षणहरू आफूभन्दा धेरै क्षणिक छन् त्यो सपना पुरा गर्न उसले चाहिँ जे पनि बदमासी गर्न था थाल्छ तर त्यही बदमासी गरेर लिएका खुशी र सुखी क्षणहरू झन् छोटा हुन्छन् त्यो भएर चाहिँ प्रकृतिलाई चाहिँ संरक्षण गर्नुपर्छ प्रकृतिको माया गर्नु पर्क पर्छ भनेर कविले चाहिँ सबैलाई एउटा एउटा लहरे पिपलको बैँचाको एउटा प्रसङ्ग लिएर सारा संसारका चाहिँ यो वातावरण संसारको सबै समग्र वातावरणलाई नै के हुनुपर्छ संरक्षण हुनुपर्छ भन्ने एउटा भावना व्यक्त गरेका हुन् हुन त उनको पालामा यो जति अहिले प्रकृतिमा जुन खालको चाहिँ एउटा चुनौती छ प्रकृति विनाशको चाहिँ एउटा बढ्दो चुनौती जुन मान्छेका विभिन्न अवाञ्छित गतिविधिहरूका कारण त्यो बेला त थिएन तैपनि जुन बेला दिन उनले चाहिँ त्यहाँको एउटा प्रसङ्गलाई मे लिएर लेखे अब अहिले चाहिँ त्यस्ता प्रसङ्गहरू व्यापक छन् त्यो भएर अहिलेको सन्दर्भमा यो कविता अत्यन्त उचित छ र यो उचित कविता यो कालजय कविता हो जतिसम्म वातावरण विनाशको प्रसङ्ग आउँछ जति जतिसम्म प्रकृति संरक्षणको कुरा आउँछ त्यति बेलासम्म यो जुन द पपुलर फिल्ड अथवा लहरे पिपलको बगैँचा त्यति महत्त्वपूर्ण कविताको रूपमा चाहिँ विभिन्न तहका कक्षाहरूमा विभिन्न विषयहरूमा प्रसङ्गहरूमा चाहिँ यसको चर्चा हुनेछ त्यसो भएको हुनाले यो कविता कालजय कविताको रूपमा भएको हुनाले पनि मैले यहाँ चाहिँ चर्चा गर्न खोजेँ हो नेचर कन्जर्भेसन प्रकृति संरक्षण र अब एउटा प्रकृतिमाथि चाहिँ आएको चाहिँ विनाशको चाहिँ एउटा जुन चुनौती छ त्यो चुनौतीमा यो मान्छेहरूलाई चाहिँ सचेत गराउनुको लागि यो कविता रचना गरी यसको चर्चा हुन आवश्यक छ र त्यसै आधारमा मैले यहाँ चर्चा गरेँ हो ओके द्याट्स अल विथ द पपुलर फिल्ड इन नेपाली Now, uh, let's go with the critical comments. 
The poem, popular field, is composed by William Cooper. In this poem, Cooper has raised his voices against the destruction of the forest and the favor of nature conservation. The poem, the popular field, is about natural conservation. Uh, through this poem, he wants to give message that it is not good to chop down trees. But it's not only that, it also uh, compares the chopping down of trees to the man's life and death. Uh, from this point of view, uh, this poem is also philosophical. This poem is a defense of nature conservation. Uh, the poet's message is that uh, trees should be cut, should be preserved and they should not be cut down. Cutting down trees recklessly destroys the ecological environment. Trees are very necessary for human beings. They are important natural resources at the same time. The popular field by William Cooper describes the deforestation of a field of popular trees and how it, uh, its loss uh, allows uh, a speaker to reflect on his death. The poem begins with the speaker describing how the place uh, he loves no longer gives him said. The trees have been cut down and are now more like seeds. The stumps have become the seeds. Their loss is impacted more than just his own emotions though. The blackbird no longer has anywhere to gain uh, protection from the sun and has been forced to move to a new scene. In conclusion, the speaker realizes that the pleasures of life are incredibly short, so much so that uh, they are sure to die out before humankind dies. The entire situation has forced the speaker to contend uh, with his own death. The poet says that all the pleasures of man are destroyed. Even our life is short, but our enjoyment will die before our death. He feels that cutting down the trees is serious as the death of human beings. Uh, the poet thinks that the pleasures of man are perishable and momentary. So he appeals to the people for conserving the nature. He said that deforestation should be stopped as soon as possible. This poem is remarkable for its celebration of the nature uh, and rural uh, as well as nostalgic tone. In the past, he has recollect, recollected the beauty of nature, but now he has no any pleasure in the world's trees. Thus, he gives the idea of the cut down poplar trees uh, with the end of human life and pleasures. The popular field is Cooper's most admired poem. It captures the experience of returning to much a loved spot only to discover that it has changed significantly. The poem meditates upon a sense of past joy and present sadness. Nature is seen as full of vitality and a source of great delight throughout five verses. The poem, uh, poem's lively anaphastic rhythm means it skips along in a way that reinforces uh, the pleasurable recollection of enjoying uh, cool colonnade and the sweet flowing ditty of the blackboard. The poem is particularly mellifluous with its um, uh, lilting la sound in verse uh, 1 and 2 and the use of uh, and just sound in lines 3 and 4. That uh, is a part of musical musicality or prosody. However, and the poet now sits upon the chopped down tree that once provided him which said he would um, he writes poignantly about what is lost and reflects that before long you will lie beneath the turf where the trees have been laid the popular field by william cooper describes the destruction of a field of popular trees and how the loss uh, allows the speaker to reflect on his death this poem is nostalgic meditation on change and the passage of time. The popular field used to be a place of beauty and harmony, and the speaker enjoyed going there to relish 
the abundance of the natural world. Cooper wrote this poem almost two centuries ago. In the beginning, he seems to be enjoying, whereas uh, he laments at the loss in the end. He is concerned with the nature and destruction of personal and universal loss of pleasure. He says he will be remembered through a tree planted at his grave. Cooper muses on perishing pleasures of man at the same time. The poem is about environmental degradation. Uh, however, during Cooper's time, it was not a threat as it is now. Cooper is more concerned with himself and the particular paths of the popular field. Nothing is left unsaid. How Cooper loves the nature represented by the popular field. He writes as a nature poet. He muses on the pleasures of nature on his first visit to the popular field. He his next visit on the one side laments for the pollen trees, on the other uh, laments for the shortness of human life. The poem, the popular field shows the poet's affiliation toward nature in uh, rural life, which is remarkable for its celebration of the rural and nostalgic tone. The poet is in favor of uh, afforestation uh, to maintain ecological balance. Deforestation is really a great challenge to the world and it has affected the poet emotionally. The poet uh, sentimentally recalls uh, that the cutting down poplar trees causes uh, the adverse effect uh, in human life. Uh, the chopping down of trees will have an adverse impact in human existence, human race as well. The poet shows his deep-rooted sympathy upon the creatures from the trees such as blackbirds. Finally, the poet laments and regrets about perishing pleasures and ecstasies of human being like uh, that of poplar trees in the bank of river ooze. The poet's point is to highlight here the uh, human life is short and uh, this short life uh, will cultivate on the greediness and selfishness of human beings. Uh, the poet also draws a vivid picture of how it was with the poplar trees and how their falling down has changed the landscape. Instead of it standing in colonnade, that is in columns, uh, the trees are now lying down on the ground. Even now, on the grass, the trees are still useful. They were once providing shade and now they are a source of comfort uh, for the poet as the tree is my seed. There are several techniques used by the poet to show the strong relationship between the popular trees and himself. Twelve years have elapsed. By specifying clearly that uh, the number of years the poet may be showing that no matter how many years may go by, the popular trees still have uh, the same effect on him. He might be stressing on the long-lasting effects of nature. Okay, uh, that's all with the discussion of uh, the popular field. I'm sure you got the point. And uh, if you have not subscribed my channel, I request once again uh, to subscribe. And if you found this video worth watching, please share with your friends. I'll be back with more other videos. Uh, thank you for your time and patience. That's all for today.